Well, good afternoon, everyone. Being... Hello. <laughs> We're trying. What's the what's the political term? Pastries. Pastries. But what kind? Uh, from the. Uh... It's Mexican. Yes. Mexican pastries. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know. We've never tried these. We also bought some churros, <coughs> which we've all had before, right? So we know how those taste. So we're, this one has custard in the middle. This one has, looks to be cream cheese and some sort of jelly. Yeah, something. So this is our first time trying these. And I'm gonna see what they're working with. This one smells good. Mm -hmm. Which one you wanna try first? This one looks like it's gonna be yours. You don't think you'll <laughs> like it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. This one's got coconut in it as well. Oh, uh, I don't really like coconut. I know you don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bone after titty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. It doesn't have a lot of no, coconut. Mm-mm. It's got mm -hmm. lemon in it, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I like stuff with lemon in it. Yeah, it's got a lemon. The Custard. bread's got a lemon flavor to it. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We got these today when we went to the um, city market. City market. City farmers but, market. Yeah, city farmers market. This market has food selection from all across from Jamaican, <coughs> African, Chinese, Mexican. Everything but <coughs> there. Mm -hmm. Everything but American, which I like. Any kind of vegetable from any place in the world, they had it. Okay. What do you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, let's, okay. let's see what that one is. Okay. Focus. We're not focusing, but anyway, ready? Mm -mm. I don't know. It's got just whatever this red stuff is. Mm -hmm. I've never tasted it before. What is that? Just a feeling. Hmm? It's just a feeling. Yeah, but what kind of feeling? Mm -hmm. I don't like that one. Mm -mm. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. This one I like. Mm. What you think? <coughs> you don't like it either? I like this one better. Yeah. You don't know what this one's called, but... It's the one. Yeah. Okay. Mexican pastries. Thanks for watching. I was about to ask you, do you have the the return? Because you know that's something I would get out of the truck and wouldn't even have it <laughs> in my hand. That's why you have me. Right. <laughs> I would get to the door and I'm like, dang. We, we balance each other out. $9,000. No. 
Is it? Yeah. <laughs> but then also what they um those deer hunters use to pull out their deer. You want a tree? You want to get a tree? I don't. <laughs> I was just making sure you didn't. I'm fine. Dang, they got my stairs back here. Oh, there's a hanging plant. That one is leaning because it's not supported. When I say we, I mean me. Somebody just gonna eat it. That's my job. Well, I see in the house, I'm gonna sneak over here on the griddle. 
she don't be wanting me to get over here and help her, but I'm gonna help her away without her knowing, so don't tell her. Hey, I heard you talking with me while I was away. I didn't say nothing. Mm-hmm. I said when I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I will see it. <laughs> Come on, bacon. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? I don't know. I didn't say anything. Liar, liar. When I, when, I say liar. when I say something bad about you. I don't know. No, I would not. You wouldn't. You never have. <laughs> I'm not going to put any salt because the bacon is already salty. And cheese is salty. Put it on the ground. Cook everything at one time and not have to mess up no dishes. It really is, man. <laughs> it really is. You turn off. Other way. This way? Other way. Straight up. This, so this is off? Yep, yeah, all the way up. That's actually lightning. So you okay. Press it. There you go. Tuesday night, September 10th, 11th, 10th, 
Tomorrow is your birthday. Is it? Okay, September 10th? No. October 10th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. September 10th. No, October 10th. October 10th. I can't. I'm. She been drinking. A little. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little something, something about the birthday day. Man, I was told up. Today, this is great. She told my ass up. <laughs> <laughs> but I made it to the end of the day, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So now we're out getting tacos because that's our spot. We're out getting tacos because I made some pizzas last night, which is a Mexican soup. And I said I was going to eat it today. But if you know me, I don't eat leftovers. <laughs> but I thought I was going to eat some leftovers. And I didn't. So Eric had already said he's now. He said, my wife don't eat leftovers. I said, how you know? <laughs> he was right. So we were at, now at the taco truck getting some tacos on this Tuesday night. And but after work, we had us a little nip. A little nip. Ain't that right, babe? Yep. A little bit. Now we're on the way back to the Ponderosa. Do y'all have any worrisome neighbors? Let me get on that topic. <laughs> now, we have a neighbor. She's an older lady. And I have been trying to be nice because she's an older lady. But when I tell you this lady about to get on my last nerve, we were outside sitting on our patio. We get the ring notification that someone's outside. Eric looks and guess who it is? It's Granny. Asking to speak to his wife. His wife don't want to talk to you? So he tells her that we're not home. All the time, we sitting in the backyard. <laughs> He's so wrong. I said, now why you lie to me? <laughs> but I won't come to the door. So whatever, lady. I said, I don't know why she want to fool with me because I'm the one that's not so nice. You better keep dealing with the dude that's nice, which is Eric, because he's extremely sweet and nice. I, on the other hand, I just don't know sometimes. My mama used to say, you sweet when you want to be, and she was exactly right. Yeah, you got a little tank in you tonight. And I got a little nip. <laughs> I got a little kapow, as my daddy would say. But yeah, so we're on the way back home. And I'm ready to eat my tacos. It is Taco Tuesday. Every Tuesday we have some tacos, whether I make them or we go buy them. Most of the time I make them. 99% of the time, I cook tacos at home because we love tacos. But because Eric's wife don't eat lot, um, leftovers. leftovers, we're out we're getting tacos tonight. Because all I know is I'm tired of cooking. I don't know about y'all, but I cook most of the time, three to four times a week. And Eric may or may not cook once a week. If he don't cook once a week, I cook four times a week or three times. It, do, it depends. Um, but all I know is I was tired of cooking. I don't want to cook tomorrow. So, anything before I cut the camera off? I knew you. Were yeah, you did. I, I knew. <laughs> you I told me. <laughs> but I was insistent on saying, this is what I said, food prices are too high. <laughs> we can't be throwing away no food. I'm gonna eat it. And here I am. He said, well, <laughs> we was in the office working and he closed out like 10 to 15 minutes before I did. Well, actually 35, 40 minutes before I did because I worked a little bit over because I was trying to clean up this report. And um, he said, well, I'm gonna go downstairs and um, put the, the, the soup on because sopita is a soup, a Mexican soup. He said, well, put it on low. I get downstairs, I said, I don't know why you put that on because you know your wife don't eat. <laughs> you know your wife don't eat leftovers. He just looked at me and started laughing. He said, I knew you were going to eat it. He was right. I was trying to hype myself up because I really don't need to be wasting food because the, the food is too expensive to be thrown away. That's for real. Yes. Him and his son will eat it tomorrow at work. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna close out this little part of the vlog. And um, we'll chat with you all later. Smooches. Oh, you ain't gonna see up the spring. Okay, so we finished eating our tacos. Oh, 
Oh, is that bad? A spider? No. Okay. Mosquito. Mosquito. So now we're taking, about to eat our passion fruit that we got from the world market, you may as well say. I already had a little um, peace of mind, which is good. Sweet. But that grapefruit that we got from that same market was really, really good. So these passion fruit are way bigger than the ones you get in the grocery store. Man, sir, that's mine. That's yours. Dig it, get, get yours. I got your paper towel. Well, Put yours you. is mine. No, no, that's why I gave you hat. Just see, that, that's mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to be. No. So. That's why I gave you hat. Mm -hmm. we, we share, you know. I, we are sharing, what's, I cut it in half. What's yours is mine. Everybody. And what's mine is yours. I'm just trying to say. Eat your passion fruit and leave it alone. <laughs> so y'all, Granny stopped by. If you don't know, we have chipmunks, all type of wildlife in our backyard. This lady brings me a cup of acorns and asks me not to feed my squirrels and chipmunks so they can come, well, I'm sorry, my squirrels so that they can come across the street to her yard and eat the acorns. Man, they don't want your acorns. They want this squirrel food I bought for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. They want the corn. They want the sesame seeds. They want the other seeds. They don't want these little nasty corns. They say, well, I'm gonna leave these with you and you can feed them that. They don't want that, man. They got your, your whole yard full of them. more work here. Right. You see what they, their little teeth got to go through? Mm -hmm. to get to something. And when I put that food out in the water, easily eat. I'm gonna show y'all. Baby, if they're out in the morning. Yes, we're gonna enjoy our passion fruit and watch TV for the rest of the night. Smooches. New luxury. Okay. Finally got it open. Ooh, I ordered five beads. And these are these are made of clay. Aren't they pretty? And they're sized to fit different, different braids. Because if, if you have locks, you know that your locks are not the same size. Some of them are thicker, some of them are smaller. Blase, blase. Okay. And then I have this one. This is pretty. But I don't know, I thought it was different. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the picture. Maybe it was me. It's still pretty though. And then these, I got two glass beads. This one is a yellow and orange heart. And a little color. And this one is just a bumblebee. So, the beads run about $9, they run $9 a piece. 
Yeah, so that's about $50 on beads, which this will probably be my last order because I don't need any more, nor do I want any more. So I have about, I've ordered about 10 beads from her. Um, not beads, but luxury from, from Unruly Jewelry, in case you're interested. Okay, it's Saturday, October 14th. Saturday, October 14th. Babe and I are on our way to Marietta to the Choctoberfest. And what it is, is a festival um, of chalk artists who come from all sorts of places in and out of the country and display their art in the square in, Mar in Marietta. We went last year, it was fun. So we're going back. And y'all coming with us. Is that right? Yep. I need to get through this traffic. Yeah, traffic is heavy today for some reason. And we're trying to figure out why. I don't know. Because we haven't gotten into Marietta. We're still in Kennesaw off of Cobb Parkway. Cobb Parkway. This is Cobb Parkway. What is this? Barrett. Barrett Parkway. I keep I keep forgetting Barrett Parkway. Hey, if we come back, I need to stop at TJ Maxx or a TJ Maxx because I need to get some more of my syrup for my coffee. But yes, so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. There's more to come on our Saturday.
from this bird got a piece of wing.